Hello, this is Krillin, and welcome to episode 38 of Vanguard on Veteran Difficulty. Lots of V's going on there. Um, we have one place left to go, and that is this mercenary encampment. And I believe that we were, these are why we came to this settlement in the first place. Now, hmm, I'm gonna go. Need to get out so I can save real fast because we did. I'm starting off right where we left off in the previous one, and it's always good to have something like a save just so we can go with it. Okay. We're getting blasted here. But we'll be okay. We got this. Maybe not. We need to go and get our shields back already. Um, interesting. Okay. Let's get I'm up right. to our sniper rifle. Area Let's see secure. if we can do some snipering while we let our shields regenerate. more this way. That doesn't seem to be firing at us, so that is good. Okay, this is a good place to do our sniping. Theory, I hit that person once already. That one's down. 258 experience for that. That is pretty good. Enemy contact. Okay, 258 for that one. Perimeter clear. Down here we have a sniper. Do you? I smell trouble. Just so far, I smell awesome. Awesomeness is what I smell. Area secured. We're not even having to use assassinate, but this guy might. I don't want to get too far much further out, so we will bother to pull out our assassinate. Try to get this guy this way. A nice headshot. Okay, now let's go see how we're doing with our our uh, battery. We sh. Eh, better. I think we killed all the the guys who are outside. It looks like the cannons are not going to be much use. The sniper rifles were actually doing pretty good damage to us. Oh, we've leveled up. Oh, no! I can see it from over here. No, I can't. Let's go this way. The way they're spread out makes it a little bit more difficult. Okay. Well, that was handled fairly well all in all. Go ahead and hit off. Get back to my shotgun. Save real fast before we go in. And we will see how this goes. Okay. Why are you guys going in? Watch out. I will destroy you! Go, 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 go! Seriously, what are you doing? You, you I'm gonna throw. I will destroy you! Watch out! I'm on it! Okay, we I'm have some Krogan Mercs. Okay, I'm on it! Look out! Fly. Okay. 
Okay. Um, Come on it. He has no powers. Lock and load. You must die. Lock and then there was me. Lock and load. Um. Take him down. We'll bury up for the moment. Forgot about him getting up. Minorly important. Okay, we're gonna stand everyone up, and then we're gonna kill them. I'm ready, Shepard. I'll kill you. You two, get over there. Don't die. Seriously, I just said don't die, and I said get over there. What do you think? I will destroy you. Come on. Okay, you. We need to get thrown. Probably gonna have two dangerous to let sit there. Take him down. I cannot. I'm on it. Tali, you sat in me. I'm on it. Lock and loaded. Okay. These ones are are very aggressive for locked and loaded. Some of the bad guys here. Okay, Tali, I cannot get you up yet. That one's down. I'll kill you. You must it die. Sniper. Destroy you. That's okay. We can deal with that. You must die. I will destroy you. I'll kill you. He's down. Okay, we still have three left, so I don't want to do the I just run at you thing quite yet. I'll kill you! That takes us down to two. Tali, get back up. It's payback time. I'm blocked! You must die! Okay, that mercenary's down. Um, we're about to go after this last one. Got a barrier up. Let's go see what this person is. You, you need to go down. That works. Okay, at this point, I believe we've killed all of the bad dudes. Let's see if we have, uh, if we can get this guy's our family out alive. No, there's no people here. Maybe they're upstairs? There seems to be a lack of loot here, too. I'm very disappointed that these pirates or whatever mercenaries did not have better loot. I know you are. I'm right here. But you got beat up bad there. Have I leveled you guys in a while? I have a point. I just got one. I will go ahead and pick that up, because why not? Liara, you have one point! Uh, you can improve your barrier. I don't really care about the stasis. I can't hurt them with their stasis. Uh, you have seven, seven points, I tell you. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And first aid. Okay. Now your abilities are a little better in theory. Okay, hopefully upstairs we get the guys because I... Here I'm hoping to be the hero and save his family. Of course I thought it was just a drift and I had to fight on the spaceship. Apparently that's not what happened. And so if we can get them out, that would be awesome. But they're mercenaries, so... Mantis 8. Not a bad one. The curiosity, uh, take all... Oh, you know what? I bought this 9 and I did not use it. And that gives me the ability to choose a, a shield interface 8. That makes me so much better. Uh, Liara, you... Huh. Yeah, overall this is better. And that lets you use the... Uh, which one do I want you to have? 
I'm gonna give you the seven. I'll give you the seven. What do you have here? You have a five. I'm gonna give you a medical interface seven. I'm not gonna use you too much more, so I, I don't wanna give you the really, really cool stuff. Uh, what do I have you on? You're only a four. You can actually have a medical ex ex exoskeleton. Tally's like my my favorite uh, allies through the series. She's just not as useful in some ways than others. In the first game, anyways. Um. Ooh. I didn't get it right. Whatever. Um. Sounds good. They kept his body. You discovered the corpse of Captain Wilhelm, or Willem, of the MSV Ma Majesty. His fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. Well, we'll take the data pad. So you say. Ready whenever you are. So you say. Okay. And with that, we have. We will return that to him when we go back to the Citadel uh, later after Vermeer. Uh, but for now, I think our next step has to be... Oh, there's something over here. Uh, has to be taking care of uh, Cerebus. I think that, that is the play. I'll uh, we'll take all that. I'll probably gain one to two more levels total in the game. So we're about done leveling up. I mean, if we look at it, we need 11,000. 10,500, 1,500, uh, so not anytime soon. But hey, we have this data pad, at least that will be something. Uh, we'll go back to the Normandy. Okay. We need to figure out where Kahuku needs us to go, and then we will go there. Ah, uh, Cerebus. Uh, I've been through. Let me see. Been through in Attican Traverse. We can we can look into that. What about monstrosities they're they're releasing in Benthu? Okay. So Attican Traverse I think is up here. Apparently I'm off by a lot. Huh? Okay. Uh, let's look at this again. Apparently I didn't look at it very well. Um, you need to investigate the planet Binthu to find out why Cerberus is unleashing monst alien monsters in the Traverse. Okay. So I think I know where it is now. Uh, I went and looked because it didn't tell you, it told you the planet, but I don't want to go through everything looking for one planet. So it is the Voyager cluster. Apparently. We're going to Yangtze. Now I think we, I forget if we've been to Yangtze before, probably not. So we'll need to look at the planets in the area and see if we can find anything. Just to be sure. So, in Patarajiri, uh, we can survey that and found thorium. Okay, sounds good. And then over in Dragir, we have uh, found a large beryllium sphere. That's good. Apparently beryllium important. Oh, uh, this is where we're going to land. Doesn't look that impressive a planet. And Rinchato. Rinchato is nothing of value. Down here we have Arumtir. And survey. Uh, you detected a weak signal coming from the far side of the planet Arumtir. 
Uh, Joker brought the Normandy around, and you salvaged and picked up a small escape pod trapped in orbit. There was a long dead Turian inside with a few personal items and a Prothean data disk. You know, apparently Prothean data disks are just everywhere. Random dead Turians are carrying them around. Okay, um, let's go to Benthu. We got to land, and we will deal with Cerebus. Now, this I think is important. I've never, I didn't, I just have never bothered to do it, but I do think this is kind of an important one to do. I'm going to bring the humans because this is a rogue human group that we're dealing with, and uh, we're going to go in. I don't know if it'll actually be the most applicable to them, but you kind of have to think it would be because, you know, humans. I'm not sure how much the alien species would care at this point about Cerebus. Now, in the future, that may not be really the case anymore but for now okay, let's take a look uh, we have a facility an anomaly a facility facility and debris we're gonna come here and then we'll circle around uh, yeah I think that's the way to go so oh we have a mineral find over here real fast as well so we'll go try to pick that up. If it helps me get that last level before I fight, um, uh, Saren might be worthwhile. And this this world so far looks easy to drive around on. I don't mind the world going tooling around on worlds that we can get around on easily. It's the that one like with the Thorian creepers that you just cannot get where you need to go. Those I don't like. We have palladium. We have found so much palladium. Okay, um, at this point I kind of think I should come up here? Nah. I'm so close to this one, I'm just going to come up here. Okay, we didn't we didn't kill our uh, marker that time. Okay, there are cannons in front of the place. So this may be a more intensive. If each of these facilities is actually a guarded facility, uh, this could be more intensive than originally anticipated. Okay. There we go. Ah, don't go into them. That would be kind of a terrible, terrible decision making. Okay, let's pop on out. Um, real fast, uh, Ashley, you can wear. Titan Nine Heavy. What am I wearing? I'm wearing... Oh, that's right. She's got the Titan 4. I'm at the Titan 9. Let me remember my... My, uh... Actual, you know, stuff. You have that. If I'm going to give you that, I might as well give you, you know... A better one. What does this one do? I'm going to give you the... We're going to give you this one. I think overall that would be better for you. Okay. So, go ahead and save. So usually I don't do this one because I, I get the it's time to go save the world mission. And then coming to face Cerebus at that point is kind of like, well, why would I do that when I kind of am trying to save the world? Okay. I'm down. Shepard's down. Come on, kill the biotic. Oh my goodness. I've been crushed by biotics. Let's get out of here. Okay, first we're going to get all my shields back. 
Is there a guy down here? That was weird that there was a guy back here. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and heal myself at this point. And then we're going to try this a little bit better than what that was. Okay, let's come this way. They have Rachne. That seems sad to me. I don't think I can get his legs there. Okay. Let's go on out. That was terrible. I'm so sorry that you're busy. Okay. I think going for my sniper is going to be useful. I got that guy. Uh, moving around in the middle of the fight is a good thing. I don't know why you would say no. This research person has been really obnoxious. Got that guy. Okay. You know, maybe I did do this one before. Them having Rachne actually sounds familiar. It's not quite what I saved the Rachne for, and apparently they would have had it anyways, but... Um, and we're done in here? Okay. Well, Caden, thank you for telling me that. We're going to go kill some, some other bases. Doesn't look like anyone else is out here. Go ahead and save. So apparently there are three bases. They probably have uh, more difficult stuff at each one. So, I have to keep that in mind. Okay, at this point we can go that way or this way. I kind of want to save that for last, so we're going to come this way. And the reason I want to save it for last is just because then when I'm done with the mission I... I don't have to go get some random debris. Seems better to not have to go out of my way to do the really optional thing instead of the only mildly optional ending Cerberus thing. Okay. We'll just zip over this mountain. Hopefully it's not a difficult mountain to zip over. Now it seems pretty easy. At least Cerberus was kind enough to pick a planet that you could drive around on. Unlike Exogeny that picked the worst freaking planet in the universe. And then I had to go save them and then kill them. I really didn't get that. It's like, oh my goodness, we were trapped in here because we could not possibly defeat what was out there. But you did and we're going to attack you for some reason. Okay, let's bypass this. Uh, oh, it's looking so good. I overclicked though. There we go. Another shield on her face. That one's not bad. Uh, I, didn't, I need to give this to uh to her. Take all. We're getting lots of stuff. Um, Ashley, I need you to have uh, oh, Sludge 9. Now, the final people to go with Caden will probably be my best two combatants, because um, obviously at that point, or it's not Caden, the one to go after Saren will probably be um, Ashley and, uh, and um, or, or not. They're my sturdiest two companions. We lose tech, but I don't think we'll really need tech. Uh, could be wrong. I don't think you really need tech in it. 
I mean, if we find some places places we could loot, we just unfortunately won't get to loot them. But we'll have such awesome equipment at that point. I don't know if it matters. I doubt we'd find anything better than the awesome stuff we're already carting around. So I take that back. I'm pretty apparently I did beat this at some point because, and there's a pyramid here. Huh, how random. And that way. Almost done with this one. Okay, excellent. And we came away from that pretty easy. So now we know generally, I think, what to expect. There'll be something in the central area. Now, potentially, maybe the adult rachne with some of the small rachne, or maybe just an adult rachne. And then we have the them. Now, that bioptic guy was pretty annoying. So that's really what we have to watch out is for another bioptic guy. Okay. We're in. Um, nothing I care too deeply to look at at the moment. Nothing that sounds unique enough for me to worry about. Okay, let's go ahead and save before we come into here. Uh, what are you doing? No, I did not tell you to do that. Come on. Yeah, it looks like one Rachne. Part of me wants to try to go around and kill them before then. Uh, we have a logic arrest tool and a scram rail 8. Let's go ahead and get this Arachne up. Oh my goodness, I've been hit through a wall. Oh, I hate their bioptic stuff. Oh, let's bury her up. Oh my goodness, that's bad. I really hate when I try to run it close to the door. Okay, actually get back in here so that we can take them on in a more efficient manner. Why am I not shooting? You, I'm just going to throw you. Okay. We got a meta gel back. Okay, we're gonna raise and heal. Get out of my way, Ashley. Oh my goodness, so not helping. Okay, you fly. Okay, Kaden. Okay, you. Let's warp you. Caden, you can't do anything. Well, you must have been able to do it, Caden, because I didn't do that. Let it go, Caden, wherever you are. Oh, there you are. We'll go ahead and bury her up as I charge out at this guy. Okay, another facility down. Now that one was a little worse. Probably should have, probably should have backed off. Okay, I think that we'll, all this will tell us is the exact same thing. I don't know. Maybe we get a med cell. So, oh, yeah, we can't really use it. Should have healed Caden first. But that's fine. He'll heal up on his own. Okay, is there anything we can get here? No. So we'll go ahead and save. And start running. Okay. 
I don't think we're going to get to the third facility in this episode, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we've we've had our half hour. I don't think we're going to finish the third one. Let's get the map. We'll just do this anomaly real fast, and then we'll go from there. Uh, oh, it was on the map. It was, that's what the pyramid is. Um, we'll get out and check it out, and then we'll say, yeah, we're done. Uh, I don't think there's anything we're going to be able to do here. I don't really think that you can do anything with the pyramids. At least I've got to figure out anything. If I'm missing something, by all means, I mean, oh, this one actually has something on top. That was a long time to get in. We have a Prothean data disk. There are a few children's toys and some rag clothes stuffed on top of this monument along with a Prothean data disk. So random interstellar kids who are on an unknown, uncharted planet had Prothean data disks. Okay, uh, well we have one more place to go and then we'll be done. So we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Like and subscribe and we'll be back with episode 39 next time. Adios.